Assuming that you have, you know, good technical judgment, you have a good technical solution to a problem, uh, let's assume that, then what are the business risks that can derail it? Um, clearly, intellectual property is one. You better make sure that you have freedom to operate. And you have to be more diligent than what I see a lot of, uh, um, you know, they might go to a patent attorney and, and a cursory review um, might say, yeah, you have freedom to operate, which means you might get some claims allowed. But you may not really have freedom to operate. So do a more thorough assessment of intellectual property. And um, if you're following what I have been following, which is go after problems and redefine the problems, come up with disruptive solutions, you're generally going to be in a, uh, in a white space of intellectual property. So you have a better chance of, of establishing. In a, in a crowded space, you have to be very careful. Uh, reimbursement is a big issue. Healthcare economics uh, is a big issue. Adoption. Um, uh, you know, there might be a surgical procedure that requires a huge amount of surgeon training. So what are the, what's the cost of training and adoption going to be? Um, and then you also look at who are your po possible corporate partners, which large companies would be interested in something like this, and, uh, and why? Would they, uh, is, is this dramatically better? Would, they, would it give them some competitive advantage? So these are the kinds of questions you have to ask. and. If, um, if the, the addressable market is too small, that's often that's what happens. You might think that there's a large patient population, but the real addressable market is small uh, when you stratify patients. Paying attention to business models uh, is really important. And, and in today's uh, environment where uh, wireless technologies and sensors and cloud computing and um, patient, home patient care, or telemedicine, you have to really figure out who's going to pay for those things, how you're going to get reimbursed, uh, and, uh, because, and that's why those things have not taken off. So really, um, business models, especially in the service businesses, business model becomes important. I was working with a group on uh, tinnitus, which affects millions of people, and it's the ringing in the ear that you hear. And um, there are various ways. Sometimes the people just you know, learn to live with it. Other, others have created headphones that create mask that ringing with other noise. Um, and there was a physician who had been working on stimulating the cochlea in a certain pattern to um, eliminate the, the uh, tinnitus. So fascinating solution. And it actually works. He had some human data. And then I started looking at, so I started working with him and I said, but I need to do some analy business analysis. And I started looking at reimbursement. And every reimbursement expert I talked to said, this is never gonna get reimbursed. So after exhausting, you know, trying to figure out how to, you know, would it make business sense? Would payers pay for it? Uh, it I turned, you know, I walked away from that solution because it had a fundamental uh, killer risk that uh, would um, would not result in a successful business would kill the business. <laughs>